नमस्कार दोस्तों सत श्री अकाल असलकुम कैसे हैं आप लोग हेलो दिस इज हिमांशु एंड विद दिस वीडियो वी कैन स्टार्ट द अल्टीमेट सीरीज ऑन रिकर्जन ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस सीरीज विल बी सॉल्विंग हंड्रेड्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स यूजिंग रिकर्जन विद लेवल्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम बिगिनर टू सुपर हार्ड रिकर्जन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल टू गेट बेटर इन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग it not only helps in solving tough problems involving dynamic programming but also helps you understand tough data structures easily if you struggle with dynamic programming or understanding data structures defined recursively chances are you're not good at recursion take your time to master this skill with us once you do that you'll see the problems and structures bit differently than others do in past i have solved even 7th and 8th problems of the courchef long challenge using just recursion So what we're going to be doing in this series is create some basic understanding of recursion through this video and then solving 20 30 problems on recursion then we'll be increasing our level hard problems gradually before i start explaining recursion and i want to show you a simple situation it will help you get the idea behind recursion before i start explaining recursion i want to show you a situation suppose you are standing in a row and for some reason you want to know your row number one way is to start counting number of people in front of you another cool way is to ask this person in front of you his row number the only task left will be to add one in whatever row number he is standing in notice that you transferred your task of calculation to the person in front of you effectively you have divided the problem into sub problem now it's his duty to provide you the correct row number As long as you trust him you don't care how he calculated his row number he may have counted himself or he could have asked his row number from the person standing in front of him before going further i want to prove that this person is always going to return the correct row number for that let's first assume that he asked his row number from the person standing in front of him and he asked his row number from person standing in front of him so as you can notice this process must stop somewhere let's assume this person knows his row number and readily provided the answer to the person who asked him now think about the possibilities where this person gets his row number wrong he can only get his row number wrong if someone added another number instead of plus 1 or the person who manually calculated his row number provides the wrong answer so if there's some way through which we can fix that anyone who gets row number from the person standing in front of him can only add one and the person calculating manually also does it correctly then there's no way that you are going to get a wrong row number you can also see it this way you don't care how the answer to a sub problem is calculated as long as you fix the base case and induction correctly you never doubt the correctness of the person standing in front of you so in recursion the person who calculates the answer manually is called base case and the process of adding plus 1 is known as induction so we have fixed that if we are calculating the base case and induction correctly then there is no way our answer is going to be wrong this assumption that the person in front of you have given you the correct row number is called hypothesis so we have fixed that hypothesis is always correct if these two things are correct we will be using this idea in all our recursive solutions watch this problem this problem is similar to the situation i presented before in this problem you need to calculate the number of 11s in a given array before going further let me introduce with a term called state we will be using this term very frequently in the entire series a state is nothing but a collection of variables sufficient to identify a sub problem uniquely by unique identification what i mean is that the solution of that sub problem must be consistent and must not change no matter who asks for the answer to that state so a state is just a sub problem please try to solve this problem by taking suffixes as sub problems to this problem 
Since any suffix can be represented by using just the starting index, we just need a single integer variable to represent all the states. As a hint, ask the solution to a subproblem and use that to build the solution. Also, remember that you need not trace the recursion if you write the base case correctly and idea is based on a solid induction. I'll be solving this problem in the next video. Feel free to comment what you feel about this video. So see you in the next video. Peace.